City of Far broke ground on a city project that will have you and your furry little friend positively excited. The City of Far held a groundbreaking ceremony for the City of Far and PSJ Southwest Early College High School Regional Water Detention Facility and Dog Park, which the city was excited to have partnered with the students from PSJ Southwest Early College High School to participate in this project and help design the park. I just think it's amazing that people in the community will be able to um, take their dogs, be able to go walk around and everything, and hopefully decrease the flooding in the areas. I think the kids really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, as part of the process, they, uh, they did some classwork where they designed, uh, they came up with the, 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 the steps that they would need to take. They came out and surveyed the land. They did some topography. Uh, they presented to the city commission. That was, a, I think that was a fun experience for them. This project is one of several in the city of Fares drainage improvement plan to enhance drainage infrastructure and help mitigate future flooding. Water will accumulate, but it's not going to take days. It'll take hours, if not a few, maybe half an hour to get it off our streets. We wanted to move it into this facility, where then later we can pump it out. 100 million gallons is a lot of water capacity, and that's why we build it to 23 acre capacity to be sure that the entire South Far area can see relief. It's in a ideal location given that it's right next to the, the drainage canals, the drainage ditches. Uh, so this will be, it's kind of, everything came together perfectly for this project to happen. In addition to serving as a recreational area and dog park for our residents to enjoy, it will also have a run walk trail for citizens to get back into shape. We, with the COVID-19, we know we all got a little bit thicker, a little heavier, because we're all, you know, including myself, we're all inside stuck. And uh, it also took a psychological issue on all of us, and we need to do our best to stay healthy. So, given that in mind, we went ahead and included also not only just greenery for the for our lovely animals, but we also put a trail that surrounds the periphery of the um, entire park to help people get out. We want them to get out. We want them to get some sun, some air, get together with families out, and for mental health, but also for your physical health as well. The new park will be located at 520 East St. Anne Drive and is projected to open in 2022.